Well, on the first anniversary of Citizens United, we want to think about you know, what, where the decision has left us and where we might be headed. Uh, the Roberts Court has moved the country uh, in a constitutional sense and even in a more broad legal sense in a conservative direction, but largely quietly is what is the way that they've done it, and people hadn't noticed, and then Citizens United burst onto the landscape, and all of a sudden people were paying attention. And we've seen a lot more attention to what the Roberts Court's doing, its pro-business agenda, uh, the kinds of cases it's taking, and the question is, where is this all headed? Either Citizens United will be a flash in the pan, it will be one big decision that stands out from the Roberts Court's tenure, uh, at least in the early years, or it could be the harbinger of things to come. So the Court's going to, in the next year or so, have some enormously big issues coming up for it. The individual mandate in health care, uh, uh, if the gay marriage litigation makes it there, Arizona on immigration reform, and then below that is this uh, below that thick cream is a, a layer of really important cases that often fly below the radar where the court's been very consistently conservative. So either this will all blow up into a full-throated uh, conservative agenda or uh, things will go back to the quiet, slow-moving conservative agenda and the big cases will disappear.